Hello, my name is Cheryl Pike and I'm the palliative care nurse specialist here at the Ajax Pickering Hospital. Um, the Foundation's Compassion Fund supports a lot of programs here at the hospital, but I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things that are really near and dear to me. Um, and the first one is the Linus Project, which um, many of our volunteers will make quilts and crocheted and knitted blankets for our patients. At Christmas, everyone receives one but throughout the year we can give them to any patients that we think are appropriate. And I remember an elderly gentleman who told me that his feet are always cold. And so I took a blanket and I laid it across his feet and he said to me, oh, you may never get that back. And I said, uh, well, this blanket was made by one of our volunteers, especially for you and it's for you to keep. And at that point he started to cry and he was totally overwhelmed. And he told me that no one in his entire life had ever done anything so kind and generous for him. And that's when I started to cry too, and I feel like crying now. Um, so, and I've given a couple of family members actually blankets who were staying night after night with their loved ones, and the appreciation is just overwhelming from these families. Um, another thing that I, I do take full advantage of is the Druxy's gift cards. And I'm pretty picky about who I give them to, but um, I had a particular family who was uh, not financially well off and their young son was here and was a palliative care patient. And he was in the hospital for a long time and his sisters who were in school at the time put their lives on hold and came in and were taking shifts to help care for him 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So in the time that he was here, about two and a half months, I gave each of the, the sisters two get Drexie's gift cards and just to get a coffee or a snack or whatever when they were here. And I walked into his room one day and his mom was sitting there and one of the sisters came over to me and she was smiling and she said, I took my Drexie's gift card and I went downstairs and I got my mom a sandwich because she came right here from work and um, she hadn't had anything to eat. So this is pretty far reaching. This isn't just patients that we're, we're helping to look after, it's their families as well. And the last thing I wanted to tell you about was another young patient that I had who was a young mom. Her son was eight years old and she, I'd known her from multiple admissions. And this last admission, I sat down with her and I said to her, so if there was something that we could do for you, a wish that you had, what would that be? If we could see that we could fulfill that wish for you. And she said, I wanna do something normal with my son. I wanna be able to sit here and watch TV with him in my bed. So I again contacted the foundation and the Compassion Fund provided TV service for her for about two months. Um, and every time her son came in, they were able to sit in her bed and watch cartoons or whatever it was that he wanted to watch. So again, the appreciation from that young mother was just overwhelming to me and her son is gonna take those memories of his mom um, through the rest of his life. So I just wanna say a sincere thank you to everyone who has donated in the past to the Compassion Fund, from myself and the patients and families that we reach, and please continue to give. Thank you.